Hi, my name is Michał and I am Customer Care Specialist at Soldevello. In this video, I will share everything you need to know about test cycles in the Quality Plus app. First, I will show you what test cycles look like in our app. Then, I will teach you how you can create test cycles. After that, we will go through all possible ways in which you can add your test cases to the cycle. And the last point will be about retesting your test cases in the cycle. Now, let's get to the main topic of the video. We'll begin with test cycles overview. Let's start with explaining what test cycles in our app actually are. A test cycle is a group of test cases that are meant to be executed together. Let me show you where you can find test cycles in our app. Go to Quality Plus. Choose Test Cycles Overview. Under the Test Cycles Overview page, you will find all test cycles created on your Jira instance. You can see the cycle name, which project the cycle belongs to, version of the cycle, and execution statuses of test cases included in the cycle. Please note that if you hover your cursor over the progress bar, you can see percentage information of each status in the cycle. There's also the state of the cycle, which indicates whether the cycle is open or closed, creation date, due date, and the action buttons, which allow you to clone, close, and delete your cycle. Additionally, you can open the execution report directly from the cycle, which I will show you later on in this video. Before I open any test cycle, please note that you can also filter your test cycles by the project, version, state, and text. For example, I will filter the data to display closed test cycles for all projects. To open any test cycle, click on it. The example I'm presenting includes executions already performed. Let's focus on them now. We can see the name of the test case, the execution status, the execution assignee, bugs found during execution, their statuses in Jira, and the action button that allows us to open or remove the execution from the cycle. If you need to change the order of executions in the cycle, you can easily rearrange them by dragging and dropping. Another thing you can do is sort your executions in the cycle per each column. On the right is an option to close or open the cycle. If the option is enabled, you cannot add new test cases to the cycle and the button on the left side disappears. Let me reopen it. You can also select some executions and change their status and assignee in bulk. Higher up is the filtering function. You can filter executions by status, assignee, and keywords. For example, I can display the blocked executions that were performed by Terence user and their name contains the word log. Besides the test cases tab, there is also the overview tab where you will find additional information regarding the cycle, such as how many test cases are there in the cycle and what is the current status of executions. Two fields can be edited, version and description. Each execution status is shown in a percentage scale along with the number of occurrences of a given status in this cycle. The name of a cycle can be changed at any time. You can also delete or clone the cycle. I will show the cycle cloning function in the next section of this video. One more important feature is displaying a test execution report. Once you click on this button, you will be redirected to the execution report page and the cycle you are displaying will be selected in the report showing you only executions from this particular cycle. We describe the test execution report in more detail in the video dedicated to Quality Plus reports. The link to the video should appear in the upper right corner. If you want to open any execution in the cycle, click on the Open Execution button. If the test case is executed within a test cycle at the top of your execution, there will be a navigation bar. You can either go to the next or previous execution in the cycle, or go back to the cycle by clicking on its name. It is also worth mentioning that you may encounter such a message after entering a cycle. This is not a bug. It means that the test case is restricted in your Jira and if you want to see it, you need to contact the Jira administrator at your organization. Now, let me show you how you can create your cycle. The test cycle can be created from the Quality Plus sidebar menu or from the overview page. It can also be created from the test case repository page. For example, in the specific folder, you can select your test cases and click on the button to create or choose a test cycle. Back to the test cycle page. 
To create it, click on the Create Test Cycle button. A window will appear. Enter the cycle name and select the project the cycle should belong to. Selection of the project determines whether the cycle will be visible to the user or not. Cycle takes the permission settings of the project you are choosing. Therefore, if the project is not visible to the user, then the cycle will also not appear to this user on the list of cycles. Despite selecting a particular project, you will still be able to add test cases from different projects. Remember that the chosen project cannot be changed after the cycle has already been created. The remaining fields, version, description and due date are optional. Once you're done, you can click on the Create button to create your cycle. After the creation, the cycle will be empty. You can also create a cycle by cloning an existing one. It can be done either from the Test Cycle Overview page by clicking on the three dots under Actions or from the perspective of the cycle by clicking on the three dots and choosing Clone Cycle. Once the cloning process is finished, the clone cycle will appear at the top of your cycle list on the Test Cycle Overview page. The word clone will be added to the name of the cycle at the very beginning. Once you open the clone cycle, please notice that all execution statuses are set to default. Also, the assignee is set to unassigned. Now, let me show you all the possibilities how you can add your test cases to the cycle. You can add your test cases to the cycle in three ways. Directly from the cycle, from the test case repository, by the usage of a JQL filter. Let me show you the first way. Open your test cycle. Click on the Add Test Cases to Test Cycle button. In the window that appeared, select your test cases by clicking on the search issues to expand the list of test cases. Type your test cases, select them and click on the Add button. Now they are added and you can start working on your cycle. Second way, go to the test case repository page from the sidebar. Select your test cases either from the folder or from the all test cases view. As you can see, action buttons appeared at the bottom. Click Add to Test Cycle. You can either add them to the existing cycle or create a new one. Let me choose the existing one. From the list, select your cycle and click on the Add button. Once it's done, you will get confirmation that test cases have been successfully added and if you go to the cycles, your test cases will be there. The last way. Go to the Jira Issue Navigator. You can either go there from the test case repository and by clicking on the Show in Jira Issue Navigator button, or by going to Filters, View All Filters. On that page, you can use JQL Filter to search for your desired cases. For example, you can display all test cases with a certain label. Once you've filtered your test cases, click on the Apps button and choose Quality Plus. Two options will appear. Choose Add All Quality Test Issues to Test Cycle you will be redirected to the page where you need to choose the project that's assigned to the cycle you're looking for. Then, from the second drop-down, choose your cycle. Click on the Next button. Now you can still decide if you want to add all selected test cases or if you want to uncheck some of your selections. Click on the Add to Test Cycle button to finish the process. Once it's done, you will be automatically transferred to the cycle page. That's all for this point. Let's move on to the last one, which is retesting test cases in the cycle. You can easily retest cases in the cycle. Here we can see the cycle. The last execution failed and probably you would like to repeat the execution. If you do that in the existing execution, for example, I open it, change some data and go back to the cycle, you lose the information that previously this execution was failed. If you want to retest the execution in the cycle, add again the same test case to the cycle. This way you create a new execution and still have the information that previous one was failed. Please bear in mind that this is our recommendation on how the retesting should be done. If you want to edit the existing execution, you can do it. But remember that there is no history of the changes in the app. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will show you reporting possibilities in the Quality Plus app. You can learn more about Quality Plus test management for Jira by watching other videos that we have prepared for you on this playlist. Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. You will find the link in the description down below.
See you in the next video.